Hi there and welcome to SSB Crack Exams. My name is Anuradha and today's session I'm going to give you the answers and their explanations for CDS 1 2020 English question paper and as I will be following the set A question paper of English for CDS 1 2020 the questions that we are going to solve today are from the section spelling mistakes. So the question numbers 91 to 100 in set A of CDS 1 2020 English paper we are going to solve today. But before we go on to solve, let me give you a brief overview of what CDS exam is. It's uh, the Combined Defense Services exam, which is a defense competitive examination conducted by UPSC twice a year for defense aspirants. This year, however, CDS 1 2020 exam took place on 2nd February 2020 and English constituted one of the most important sections in it. And before we start solving the questions, therefore, let's uh, give you a brief outlook of what we SSB Crack exams aim to provide to you. We aim to provide a one-stop solution to the aspirants preparing for not only CDS exam or CDS OTA exam, but also other defense competitive examinations like NDA, AFCAT, Territorial Army, INET and so on. So you can take a look at the courses provided by us and for buying them, you can visit our website ssbcrackexams.com and while buying, you can use this code WARRIOR10 to get an extra 10% discount on all the courses, right? And now you can follow us on our YouTube channel SSB Crack Exams, on the Instagram page SSB Crack Exams, our website learn.ssbcrackexams.com and you can also download our mobile app from Google Play Store by just writing SSB Crack Exams in the search box, right? So uh, let's not take much of your time and let's get back to the point that we were discussing the solution of the questions from the section spelling mistakes for CDS 1 2020 English question paper, right? Before that, it's important for you to read the directions and it says in this section a word is spelled in four different ways. Identify the one which is correct. Choose the correct response A, B, C or D. Indicate on the answer sheet accordingly. Basically, you have to choose the correctly spelled word. Okay, that will be your answer. So let's start and this will be an easy task for you all of you for those of you who are well acquainted with the reading and with the speaking and you know with writing the English sentences okay. So let's start which one of the following alternatives has the correct spelling. So you see continuum has been spelled in four different ways however the right way is option A here right. So your answer is option A continuum okay W because we pronounce it as continuum so W must be there. Next one, which one of the following alternatives has the correct spelling strategy again has been spelled in four different ways. The right one is this one, option D, strategy, okay, answer is option D here, S-T-R-A-T-E-G-Y. Next one, commissioner again four, four different ways, the right one is double M, double S, I-O-N-E-R, answer is option C here. Next one. Vacuum, this is one of the most commonest mistakes that students make and the right one is with 1C, W, 1M, okay? Option B, therefore, is your right answer. Then the next one is cephalogy. It is P-S-E-P-H-O-L-O-G-Y, cephalogy. For those of you who don't know what cephalogy means, it is basically a statistical study of elections and trends in voting, all right? And it's spelled with a P but P is silent so it is pronounced as cephalogy okay so the answer is option A here next again if you can guess from these four differently spelled words uh, you need to find out the correct spelling for nephrology and it is N-E-P-H-R-O-L-O-G-Y nephrology all right so option B is your right answer nephrology is basically a study of kidneys and the diseases which is you know the health issues which is connected with the kidneys the next one is pseudonym this is easy so basically it's p s e u d o n y m pseudonym again p is silent but it is uh, spelled with a p uh, in the beginning so this is pseudonym and your answer is option b here pseudonym is a pen name okay uh, which an author takes up when he's writing a novel or any kind of short stories anything poetry Right, right. Next one is uh, pneumonia. Again, this is another example of silent P, but it should be used at the beginning. And it is P-N-E-U-M-O-N-I-A. Pneumonia, right? 
So your answer is here, option C, right? Next one. Resilient, this is easy. Again, it is R-E-S-I-L-I-E-N-T, resilient. Option A is the right answer here, okay? And now the last one, the last spelling that you need to find out, the correct one is supplementary. Supplementary, S U double P L E M E N T A R Y. Okay, supplementary. Okay, so the right one is therefore option B. Okay, so your answer here is option B. So you see, you need to have good reading habits uh, in order to find out the the correct spellings that we have just solved in today's Serious 1 2020 English questions from the spelling mistake section. But if you still want to have certain explanations, certain shortcuts and tips and tricks, which I have already discussed in length in my lectures, you can visit our website as I have already mentioned to you before, sbcrackexams.com and you can subscribe to our courses and you can visit my lectures there for a detailed understanding and the detailed strategies to solve questions from the spelling mistake section in your serious exam. So uh, hurry up and uh, buy your courses by using the code warrior10 for an extra 10% off on all courses. So don't wait, fly high, achieve your dreams, serve your nation, make your country proud, work hard, Jai Hind.